So, if you take this particular parasympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system, it acts through cholinergic receptors. Right? It acts through the cholinergic receptors. Now, if you take these cholinergic receptors, these cholinergic receptors, they are of two types. Right? These cholinergic receptors, they are of two types. Now, what are those two types of cholinergic receptors are is one, we have nicotinic receptors. Second, we have muscarinic receptors. So, nicotinic receptors and second we have muscarinic receptors right nicotinic receptors and as well as muscarinic receptors you take this particular nicotinic receptors nicotinic receptors are again we have two types right we are having it again as two types one you have NN and then you have NM Okay, nicotinic receptor N type and nicotinic receptor M type. You take NN. Remember, NN is present in the ganglia. Right, it is present in the ganglia. And this NN receptors, they are also present in the adrenal medulla. Right, they are also present within the adrenal medulla that is NN you take NM NM receptors they are present at the neuromuscular junction all right they are present at the neuromuscular junction that is your NM now after this NN receptors now let me discuss about the muscarinic receptors Remember, muscarinic receptors, they are totally five. That is M1, M2, M3, M4 and as well as M5. Now, let me tell you the location of those particular, all the M1 to M5 receptors. So, if you take this muscarinic receptors, this muscarinic receptors, like we are having this as M1, then we have M2, then we have M3, then M4, and then we have M5. Okay, so these are the five types of muscarinic receptors. You take M1, where are this M1 located is? M1, they are located in the gastric ganglia. Right, they are located in the gastric ganglia. And other place where the M1 receptors are located is, they are also located in the CNS central nervous system so M1 re receptors they are present in the ga gastric ganglia and as well as in the central nervous system whereas you take M2 M2 they are present in the heart and they are also present in the central nervous system right that is the location of M2 then you take the location of M3 receptors remember M3 receptors they are present in the eye they are present in the gastrointestinal tract, they are present in the bladder, present in the bronchus, present in the glands. So these are all the places where the M3 receptors are present. So M3 receptors, they are present in the eye, they are present in the gastrointestinal tract, they are present within the bronchus, right? They are present within the bladder, right? They are present within the bladder, bronchus, GIT. I and they are also present within the glands and even within the central nervous system right even within the central nervous system that is the location of the M3 receptors you take M4 and M5 both of them they are present in the central nervous system right M4 and M5 both of them they are present in the central nervous system so this is the location of your cholinergic receptors so cholinergic receptors we have nicotinic receptors and as well as muscarinic receptors nicotinic receptors we have nn and as well as nm nn they are present in the ganglia and as well as adrenal medulla 
NM, they are present at the neuromuscular junction. Muscarinic receptors, we have five types, M1 to M5. M M1, they are present in the gastric ganglion and central nervous system. M2, they are present within the heart and as well as central nervous system. M3, they are present in the eye, gastrointestinal tract, bronchus, bladder, glands and as well as the central nervous system. M4 and M5, they are also present within the central nervous system. See, a common point what you have to remember is the muscarinic receptors. All the types of muscarinic receptors starting all the way from M1 to M5, they are present within the central nervous system. So that is a very important point that you need to remember. So this is completely about the location of the cholinergic receptors.